Hi there, Leos. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, and we're looking at December 21st through December 27. So it's the last week of December, the last full week anyway of 2015. As weeks go, it doesn't get much more exciting than this one. With the first day of winter for those people in the Northern Hemisphere and the first day of summer for those lucky ones in the Southern Hemisphere. There's also a wake-up call for a planet that's been asleep for the last five months. On December 21st, the sun marks the last seasonal turning point in the calendar year entering Capricorn. And as we celebrate the first day of winter or summer, we realize that, you know, time moves forward, that it's amazing. Mother Nature just keeps on keeping on and we've got to keep up with her. Popular traditions for warding off the darkness on the winter solstice, the longest night and darkest night of the year, include bonfires that recall sun worshipping, feasting and, and carolers who sing and dance from house to house. So that's very American. In Australia and in the southern hemisphere where it's summer, people are not walking around with caroling, but they're definitely walking around enjoying a balmy night on the beach. That is definitely something that they would do. Now on Friday, December 25, there is a supermoon in Cancer, which is your 12th house of past karma and subconscious and self-renewal. Now Cancerians are the most maternal signs in the zodiac. They're considered to be the mother hen of the zodiac. So this Cancer supermoon is going to be special. Make sure you get a look at it at some stage. And it's special because it's assisted for, by Neptune, the planet of focus and dreams and high hopes and the planet that rules creative Pisces and it bestows a gentle magic glow. Now in addition to the supermoon on the 25th, Friday is also the day when Uranus changes direction and finally moves direct after being out of phase in Aries, your fellow air sign and your ninth house of overseas travel, higher education and philosophy for the past five months. And Uranus is known as the wild child of the solar system. This shift can mean an increase in sudden or unexpected changes affecting us all on a personal level. These changes may come from the science technology sectors that Uranus rules, or it could come from a more personal place, something that you started, maybe you started dating somebody or you started a new job or you moved five months ago and so far you're not quite sure whether you made the right decision or not, you're going to really get your answer over the next couple of weeks and months as we charge into 2016. Aries are really good go-to people for you as are Aquarians right now. Have a wonderful week, Leos. Check out my 2016 uh, outlook and predictions and have a wonderful week and I'll speak to you again next week and be kind to yourself, Leos.